of this young man's death here at the Genin plant are just awful. I'm told there are cameras in the area where this happened. So investigators, both with OSHA as well as the Harris County Sheriff's Office, have a pretty accurate video account. Byron Jones's family is distraught, but they've also hired an attorney to get them some answers. Byron Jones was a young father from East Texas. He was on the job just four days at Genin Inc. when he was killed. The Harris County Medical Examiner responded to the plant in Sheldon on Friday. The attorney for Jones's family confirms he was tragically killed in a tire shredder. Sources tell Eyewitness News he was caught up in the machine and couldn't get free. His co-workers reported him missing until they discovered what had happened. Today, investigators and the family's attorney were back at the plant. Andrew Searden told us, quote, We are investigating the incident and expect to file a lawsuit in order to hold all negligent and grossly negligent parties fully accountable for this tragedy. Ginnon's attorney only responded with, The company has no comment at this time. On its website, Genin with plants in Germany and Denmark says the Houston plant is the largest tire recycling plant in the world. It opened in 2014 and according to online OSHA records, has never had an accident before this one. Jones, just 26 years old, leaves behind a grieving family, which includes a precious three-year-old daughter. In Northeast Harris County, Jessica Willie, 13 Eyewitness News. Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. So this story here is so gruesome. It's so horrific. I can't even imagine oh, what that young brother went through just a few seconds realizing what was about to happen. I just, oh my God. I just hope it was quick and fast for that brother. Oh my God. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Oh my God. This is horrific. This is so horrific. Horrific. I'm... I am so sorry for this family and their loss. And of course, his young daughter he leaves behind. Oh, it gives me the chills. Young father dies at recycling plant after falling into the tire shredder. Jesus Christ. Let's read the article, guys. Sheldon, Texas. A federal investigation is underway into a young father's tragic death while on the job. Brian Jones, 26, died Friday as a result of a gruesome industrial accident at Ginnon, Inc., a tire recycling plant in the Sheldon area of northeast Harris County. According to Andrew uh, Sardine, who represents Jones' family, he was tragically killed in a tire shredder. Sources tell Eyewitness News he got caught in the machine and couldn't get free. Co-workers reported Jones missing before the company realized what had happened. Wow. Investigators with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, were at the plant over the weekend. They say they have launched an investigation. The Harris County Sheriff's Office is also investigating. On Tuesday, experts, investigators, and the family's attorney were at the plant on Beaumont Highway. We are currently investigating the incident and expect to file a lawsuit in order to hold all negligent and grossly negligent parties fully accountable for this tragedy, uh, Sardine told Eyewitness News. Attorney Paul Francis, who represents uh, Gannon Inc., responded, the company has no comment at this time. On its website, Gannon, with plants in Germany and Denmark, says the Houston area plant is the largest tire recycling plant in the world. It opened in 2014 and according to online, um, I guess you could say OSHA records, has never had an accident before. Uh, Ginnon has one complaint in the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, uh, TCEQ, database for failure to maintain 40 feet of space around outdoor piles. It appears someone complained in the summer of 2015 that they had too many tires there. Sardine says the Jones family is distraught, rightfully so. I mean, ugh, the slain worker leaves behind a three-year-old daughter. Yes, yes, people, this is so horrible. I mean, oh my God, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Um, they definitely will have to put some type of safety precaution. Um, 
to protect future workers because this is a big fat lawsuit in the making as you saw in the article and in the news clip but my thoughts and prayers go out to this family when I just when I read this oh I just got the chills I oh my goodness but um, I want us to re remember this brother um, I'm sure many people that knew him knew you know what his personality was who he was as a person and his death should not um, be the last thing people remember um, I definitely will keep updated on this story because it's very just sad and strange it's just the, the freak accidents that happen you know if it's truly a freak accident you know I can sit up here and you know put on my conspiracy hat but until I see further I'm gonna go with this because as I said before you never know who are watching your videos and I don't want to put that out there but uh, they're saying this is a horrible horrific freak accident at this company so um, much success and many prayers to his family and his daughter just sad just a very sad story uh, it just goes to show you that we have to be very very careful in our everyday travels in what we do on the job because you never know you simply never know but anyway let me know what you think about this story like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video